Are you curious what Westport, Massachusetts is all about? Here are my top recommendations of things to do if you're visiting for the day or maybe you're relocating to the area. Stay tuned. Uh, my name is Molly Armando. I am a real estate agent with residential properties uh, right on the south coast of Massachusetts. And yeah, it feels really good to be back in the swing of things. I've been super busy lately, uh, which in real estate is always the best. I'm not complaining by any means, but yeah, it just feels good to be back. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to share some stuff with you guys today on Westport, Massachusetts. Um, before I get into that, don't forget if you're new here, uh, hit the subscribe button so that you get notified anytime I launch a new video. I try and do one every week, but yeah, it's been a couple weeks since the last one. So um, I am continuing this series on highlighting different areas and different towns on the South Coast. And today I get to talk about Westport. Westport is one of my absolute favorite places in the entire yeah. world. When we're thinking about Westport, there are a few different areas. So North Westport is higher up, obviously North, <laughs> uh, but it's closer to Route 6, closer towards um, the more commercialized uh, district. So think things like the Target and um, Stop and Shop, that sort of thing, Walmart. Um, when you get further down south in Westport, that's more of the historical area. So there's Westport Point, which I um, highly recommend you taking a drive down to the e end of Westport Point. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, you just drive down this little street all the way to the tip of the, the point. Um, there are these really old historic homes that are on both sides of the street and it's just they all of the homes are under the control of the historical society so all the houses have to be white um you know they can't just go and change the the paint color to yellow or whatever um but it's a, it's a really beautiful spot. Uh, when you get down to the end of the point, there are a bunch of fishing boats. There is a cute little new newish restaurant opened a couple of years ago. Uh, you can eat some oysters, uh, drink a local beer, sit outside. It's it's highly recommended. So you always hear people talking about going to Cape Cod, maybe Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket. I personally think that taking a vacation or even relocating to Westport is just as amazing, if not better than those places that are super commercialized, really touristy. Westport has everything that those places do as well, if not more. I think that the fact that it's so remote and kind of off the beaten path a little bit make it that much more enjoyable exclusive um yeah it's like once you're there you can kind of just relax because there's not a ton around um there are some like if you wanted to have you know go to a larger grocery store or let's say target for example it's probably like a good 20 minute drive so when you're in westport you're kind of on this little peninsula and there are there is a local grocery store lee's market which is right on main road um there are a couple smaller stores like little bakeries um there's a couple little restaurants but you know you if you live in westport you enjoy being a part of nature you enjoy the outdoor lifestyle uh, a lot of people are super into biking running uh swimming that sort of thing and if you're living in Westport, you probably like to have, you know, peace and quiet and serenity and um, just be, you know, a little bit more remote. And like I said, kind of off the beaten path a little. If you are one of those types of people that cares about eating locally, supporting locally, Westport is really a really great option for you because I can't even tell you how many local farms, uh, farm stands there are. I mean, you could just eat all locally sourced products, whether it's produce, vegetables, um, meats, breads. I mean, 
there are so many options, so many people that you can support. Um, there are farmers markets that happen every every Saturday uh, right on Main Road. But if you drive down all of the little side streets, there are little farm stands out all of the time. So again, if you are someone who cares a lot about what you put into your body um, and making sure that you are supporting locally um, at the same time, Westport is definitely a good option for you. All right, so let's talk about one of my absolute favorite things, the food. Okay, so yes, I should probably eat more fruits and vegetables and, you know, do the farm stand thing, but I care about the restaurants. Uh, there are some really, really good restaurants that you have to check out. Uh, the first is the Back Eddy. So the Back Eddy has been around for years and it's really one of those staples that if you go to Westport, you have to check out the Back Eddy. It is uh, situated along a pier um, right and overlooks Westport Harbor. It has some really pretty views uh, at night, really awesome sunsets. You can walk down on the dock. Um, sometimes they have live music playing, um, but I highly recommend that you get a reservation because in the summer, it can get busy but um, their food is delicious also Bayside restaurant again really really awesome views they have an outdoor patio area where you can sit outside and eat um, it's just it's it's one of those places that you'll never be disappointed and they have tons and tons of options really no matter what type of food you are in the mood for they have a little bit of something for everyone and that's one of those places that if you have kids like myself, um, you can bring the kids there and not feel guilty about them running around and, you know, annoying <laughs> neighbors. Um, Back Eddie is more, um, I would say more formal and probably not a place that I would want to bring my kids, but Bayside, totally fine. Um, also, a few other places that are worthy of being noted, uh, Bittersweet Farms. Uh, a lot of people get married there. There's an upstairs area um, that they use for weddings. Uh, but then if you go downstairs, there's a little tavern. So if you're more into that kind of vibe, uh, really good, like more pubby food, um, definitely recommend checking that out. That's Bittersweet Farms. And then um, pizza, who doesn't love a good pizza place? Uh, 10 Cousins is right on Main Road. Highly recommend their pizza. They are delicious. It's quick. It's easy. They also have an outdoor seating area as well. If you are a wine lover or a beer lover, there are options for you as well. So Westport Rivers and Buzzards Bay Brewing are owned by the same family. Uh, they're in two separate locations, but again, really, really phenomenal views. So you're not just going there for the drinks, you're going there for the atmosphere as well. Um, well, I'll start with Westport Rivers. So you can go there for tastings. They have awesome tasting menus. and with What's just so great about Westport Rivers is that in the summer, springtime, they have these summer concert series. So on Friday nights, they have kid-friendly events where there are bands playing, you can bring your picnic and just sit outside and sip on a glass of local wine and just have a really great time. I highly recommend it. I have done it a few times and it's just... It's awesome. So that's Westport Rivers and right down the street, um, probably less than a mile away is Buzzards Bay Brewing. So again, it's owned by the same family, uh, but really great views. Um, they have a bunch of different events. They have um, different bands that come. They have other events that are solely for kids. So uh, we've been there before and they've had pony rides that go around and face paintings. So they do other types of events just to switch things up. Um, they've done a Christmas stroll before. And um, again, a really great place to bring your kids, but you just have to watch them because there are some I don't know, like rocks they could jump off of. <laughs> um, but the beer is awesome. Highly recommend it if you are in the area. So when I think about everything that Westport has to offer, I just think about being outside. It's one of those places that's just such an active community, whether you're into boating, sailing, kayaking, uh, going on nature trails in the woods. 
um, biking, running, swimming. I mean, I, I could keep going on and on, but I feel like a lot of the people that live there and visit Westport are super into an active lifestyle, which is just so awesome. I think that's what makes the town so appealing and special and unique. And I am just so happy to live next door to Westport. Um, my office, my uh, real estate office is actually located in Westport, right on Main Road. So I get to experience the culture each and every day. And if you have any questions about Westport or any of the surrounding towns, I'm happy to help. Um, I do this full time and yeah, I would be honored to help you. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button um, so that you get notified each time I launch a new video and thanks for stopping by thanks for listening to me again if you have any questions at all i'm here have a great day guys